Oh, no Though way. These are not Rihanna's backup dancers from her Super Bowl performance. <laughs> don't know if you feel the same way, but we wish the video got... I don't know about y'all, but I, I don't see anything. Reapers, what's is good? It's your boy, Laser. User another visor back with another reaction video. He's loving the reaction content. So I continue to do over that for you guys. And this is very wrecking the dumbest criminals con cameras. Guys, there's so many dumb criminals out there trying to steal things in the most weird way. We're about to dive straight into it. If you guys enjoy the reaction content, you guys more reaction videos like this in the future, it's simple. You hit the like button, you subscribe, and turn notifications only takes less than a second. Let's dive straight into this video. 20 dumbest oh, robberies. Shit. Caught on camera. We're about to see some low IQ, guys. You ready? Here we go. The animations on this are kind of tell the that this customer scan. is up to no good when she repeatedly gives the side eye to the security camera. Continuing with the she crime was it, her bro. second mistake. As you can see, the customer gives the cashier some money, then goes for some change in her purse. Some dialogue is exchanged. <laughs> the cashier accidentally gives back more change than necessary. And the quick change scam is complete. Ever heard of it? A quick change scam is when an individual targets inexperienced cashiers by paying for small priced items with a large bill, like a $50 bill. Damn. As the cashier is arranging change for the customer, the scammer tries to confuse the employee. Typically, this involves asking to exchange the bills of smaller denominations for larger ones or wow. fussing over exact change, whatever it takes to disrupt the cashier's train of thought. In the confusion, the suspect would tell the cashier how much money to give back, thus shortchanging the cashier. In some instances, suspects work in teams of two, where one suspect would handle the money exchange while the second suspect acts as a distraction to confuse the cashier even more. No the way cashiers are that To avoid though. being a victim of the scam, only complete the transaction for the purchase and then close the cash register. Cashiers are Lucky for this that, employee, though. it was all caught on camera. They nice are way more than that. Our guess is that these guys plan this robbery for days because they don't seem to be wasting any time. Did they just they know the what they came mark? to do when they want to do it as quickly as possible. Is that the trash? But the here? sad thing for them is that they tried to steal and failed. Their mission was to steal money from an ATM at oh, a gas shit. station for five minutes during an early morning raid in took Washington. the whole thing, bro. Poor bungling crooks. It didn't work out. Gotta get that bread, though. Through the surveillance footage, we can see the two unidentified men breaking into Ben's Market 76 gas station on Blaine Road at around 4.30 a.m. January 17, 2023. Yeah, we got all the specifics. Here's another fun fact about the robbery. The red Jeep was also stolen. They used the <laughs> stolen Jeep and a tow strap to steal an ATM from Had to be an inside store. job. Had to be an inside job. No Pretty way. wild, if you ask us. Stealing an ATM? You've got to be really brave to attempt that. The men are dressed in the typical robber's fits, hoodies and hats. They take out the yellow tow strap and attach it to the back of the car. The man in orange attaches the other end of the strap to the front doors of the gas station. And the one in the car pulls away and busts the door open. Inside job, bro. Great teamwork. However, it seems the guy in orange did most of the work. He runs into the station and drags out the ATM, and his partner continuously pulls forward and reverses to hit and destroy the money withdrawing machine. Sadly, he the men are unable to access the money despite their efforts. They keep at it until they realize the crime is fruitless. Good thing they realized that in five minutes. They took off in their stolen car, and not too long after, it they was found arrested. abandoned in the woods. Poor oh. drink. Oh, damn. One would think that this man was running a campaign called Quench the Thirst of ATMs. You think that's ridiculous? Let's tell you what he did. The Chinese man visited an ATM that people use to withdraw and deposit money, inserted his card, and then poured a drink into the machine. Oh, he tried to later identified as Mr. Wang. Break that this shit. man was caught doing the same thing at two other ATMs at two different banks. His intention was that the machines would spill out money. <laughs> Who on earth told him that that would work? Bro, what? The man was caught on the surveillance cameras of the three banks, and an investigation was carried out almost immediately. The police found Mr. Wang and they detained him. DNA and shit. That was well deserved. Now, what the fuck was here he are the most tragic bro? parts of the story. Beside the fact that Wang was moneyless and probably uneducated to attempt such a thing, he also landed himself in much bigger trouble. The three ATMs were damaged after he soaked them in water and drink. Oh, shit. And guess how much all three cost? $22,000. 22000 Where in will depth. Mr. Wang even find that money? 
You can this little now. science project failed to work, and now this. This will probably be one of, if not the biggest, regret of his life. But we've learned something from Mr. Wang. Never pour liquid into an ATM. It's not going to spill out a dime. Laptop Youth thief. Ball, bro. It's not enough that this man was a shoplifter. He also used his child as an accomplice. Now, that's a big fat no in the city of Chelyabinsk in southern Russia's Chelyabinsk Oblast. A thief uses his toddler as cover to steal a laptop from a computer shop. The very brave man shuts one of the laptops on display and hides it under his sweater, tucking it into his trousers. He then picks up his baby boy and holds him in front to prevent anyone from spotting the laptop underneath. They didn't think he has he a big package, he smart, bro. But it didn't work. The CCTV camera captured everything clearly. The local police even posted the video online. We don't Ugh. know if he was ever. He put that shit in here as like swamp balls, bro. I just know that shit smelled. Were found, but we hope he was. His family would have been disappointed by the fact that he took his toddler on such a mission. They probably thought he was stealing packing, bro. isn't a crime enough. Why take your child with you? He waltzes out of the shop with the laptop that costs over three hundred dollars. Hopefully, he was found and has to return either the money or the computer. He should also have been warned never to take his kid on such a trip again. He did it on camera, a though. Game. Take him to get ice cream. <laughs> take him to the park. Take him shopping. Take him for a walk. Don't take him shoplifting. That falls under the list of don'ts in the Father Child Code Book. No, he did shit right on the camera. floor like worms. Oh, no, no way. These are not Rihanna's backup dancers from her Super Bowl performance. <laughs> these are actually burglars trying to steal something. Don't know if you feel the same way, but we wish the video got. I don't know about y'all, but I, I don't see anything. So they're, they're doing a pretty good job. To the point where they stood like up and actually floor. stole something. This group of three thieves were nicknamed the Inchworm Bandits. <laughs> Isn't that fitting? Apparently, Human they centipede. were crawling like worms to avoid being caught by the camera. Maybe it worked because we can't see their faces. But this is ridiculous. We've <laughs> no got to admit. fucking way. It happened sometime in November 2018 at Houston's Piggy's Kitchen and Bar. They ended up stealing $450, which was the tip money for the servers who had worked over the weekend. Wow, that's it's fucked. It's sad that they just crawled into the bar and stole someone's weekend. Only for $452. Earnings. And that's not all. They also caused $2,000 in damage. After watching the video, the police looked into whether they were the same suspects who committed a similar crime at a pizzeria the week before. We hope they were caught, and if we could, we'd commend and ridicule them for their crawling technique. It's Bro. hilarious. Other people are stealing boldly in broad daylight, hiding laptops under their sweaters. I just know when they did and that, bro. Have three crawling like they thought they were in like a GTA heist or ridiculous. some shit. They probably thought they Idiotic were in like a burglar. GTA heist. Ways to identify a novice burglar. One, they don't look for the easiest and quickest way to break in. We'd say that this burglar just embarrassed himself. He must have felt so annoyed with himself, like, what did I just do? What is he trying to in steal? case you're wondering what's happening, we'll tell you. This clueless burglar broke into the window of a doorless garage. The clip <laughs> shows a man approaching a building with no one else around. He seems to be confident in that fact. He then inspects the property for an entry point. If he, he doesn't see the enough, wide open. He'd have walked a few meters to the other end and found that the garage was wide open. What an idiot. In fact, doorless. But he doesn't do that. He exerts his strength as he attempts to remove a board blocking the window in his bid <laughs> to get inside the building. That man's blind, bro. He successfully bro. removes it and jumps into the building. Nice to look like an Typical idiot burglar when he sees. way. But it was at this moment he realized he was stupid. Seconds later, he walks out of the garage. Their air didn't hold back, bro. <laughs> realizing that his efforts were he's pointless. Old. There were no doors. He could have just walked and walked out, saving his strength for a burglary mission that would actually require it. Our favorite part of the incident is the part that nobody gets to see. The part where the owner of the property watches the CCTV footage. They Pardon would me. have the best laugh watching the, the burglar embarrass himself abandoned. like that. What a joy it is to see a thief waste his time. We live in that, bro. Instant it doesn't karma. even have doors. Instant karma. We like the sound of this one. On Saturday, March 17th, 2018, two thieves in the UK were ridiculously unfortunate. In just a few minutes, they oh, lost the UK, everything huh? they'd stolen. Big ups, Mother Nature. So the two men walked into a travel agency in Greater Manchester and wow. ordered the staff to get the money. The wind was the staff playing, had bro. no choice but to let go of the money. The men stuffed the money in their pants and walked out. What they didn't know was that the travel agency had a partnership with the wind. Seconds after they stepped out, a gust of wind blew all the money away. 
God was watching over that agency that day. Yes, all the money. Passerby probably felt cars, pity bro. for them for losing money to the wind, but the staff members back at the agency must have burst into handshakes and claps and hugs, cars probably celebrating like, the, the demise of the robbers. In the video, one of the thieves chases after a wad of notes, haplessly after they're scattered all around the alley. The more he chases after the notes, the farther the wind blows them away. Damn! You, but this is amazing to see. That's a oof. We could watch them chase after that money all day. They'd be sure to check the weather forecast before going on their next mission. That's Fails just... miserably. We're right, really man. loving these videos. It feels good to see these thieves frustrated. This particular thief is that did try his best. His attempt is similar to the first guys we talked about. He wanted to steal an ATM from a gas station. However, he failed miserably. The video begins with the Australian man driving a stolen truck to the store in Townsville, Queensland. He's about to like open a pipe. Parks, gets down and smashes through the glass door oh, with a paving shit. slab. He's been called Australia's dumbest criminal. This man attached a chain from his car to the ATM. Now, this was his stupid move. He He's gonna cause to a check fire. if the chain was securely fastened. He just <laughs> drove away, hoping that the machine would come along with him. Despite facing oh, a setback in his initial attempt, he doesn't lose hope and decides to give it another shot. Bro. He tries to join the two pieces of the broken chain together, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work out. Frustrated, he gives up and drives off. But you already get a stronger it. chain next time, if there will be a next time, that is. So we went back home without the ATM, with half of the chain and the stolen truck. Except he parked halfway and abandoned the truck in the woods, as is most common with robbers. That's actually only 13 I mean, seconds. Now uh -huh. this is a pro. It took her only 13 seconds to steal a flat screen TV from an appliance store. She, she dropped 13 it. 13 seconds. This phenomenal robbery happened in Costa Rica. And honestly, it's kind of mind blowing. Did she drop it? How was she able to do that? The footage shocked both the workers at the store and on the internet. The attendants at the store said it all happened so fast they could hardly believe it. We can't even blame them. We wouldn't believe it either if we didn't have this video as proof. She and her accomplice had probably practiced a million times or they'd stolen flat screen TVs a hundred times before. So how are they done though? Let's talk about how efficiently the woman was able to walk with the TV in between her legs. One commenter said, how could the TV not slip out? Another, those skirts are meant for stolen articles. We can't what help but agree fuck? with these guys. That skirt should be displayed in a museum. If she and her accomplice ever got caught, we hope the police asked them how they did it. It's good to have one very smart shoplifter on the list. The only rule she broke is the so one that says don't take something that doesn't belong to you. But she broke the rule in a very sleek way at least. She didn't wear no mask. Walking though. out of the shop majestically as if she hadn't just committed a crime. There must have been a getaway car just outside the door because she couldn't have gone too far with the TV between her thighs. Fools. Play yourself. Whenever you're having a bad day, come back to this video. You're sure to have a good laugh. This is not a comedy skit. Trust us, it's real life. <laughs> this trio looks like the thieves from the Home Alone franchise. They're clumsy, incompetent, He's and gonna foolish. drop the TV. The plan was simple. Steal the widescreen TV from the restaurant. The woman in the last video single-handedly stole the TV in 13 seconds. Drop that shit, boy. But these three guys couldn't in over a minute. They really just made a fool of themselves in front of the CCTV camera. <laughs> Look at him, bro. You could easily be convinced that this is a Home Alone spinoff without the kid, of He's course. He's spinning that the thing. The three of them seem like they belong in a Hollywood comedy or behind bars. Any would work. Let's break down what happened. They arrived at the restaurant in a car. One of them got down. See, like, usually robbers are, like, plan this shit. These people just do it, like, on the go. Like, they just think it out. As Broke the go. glass door and tried to grab the TV on the wall. He didn't even bother to switch it off. He thought it was going to be easy. Two simple steps, grab the TV and run. But step one was proving difficult. The TV wouldn't come off the wall. He pulled and pulled, but it wouldn't. Another guy to ran to his aid. But first, he hit the door he assumed was open. He slipped on the broken glass again before getting to the TV. The two men pulled and pulled until finally it came off. Before they could even congratulate themselves for a job well done, the TV slipped and fell. It seemed like it was too heavy for them or something. They cracked it. They realized there was no point in waiting, so they ran out, and after a couple more trips, they got in their car and drove away. 
certainly the idiots. most clumsy and chaotic robbery on the list so far. Wow, beautiful plant. You could be making a list of the things people would typically steal, and this you'll never. This person's got like a whole Grim Reaper type look. Never bro. think to add a plant. Yeah, a plant. Why would someone steal a plant? We can think of a few reasons. One is maybe it's a rare plant. Two, the thief just wants to upset the owner. Three, the thief just loves to steal. Maybe she's a kleptomaniac. The video received a lot of reactions from the internet. Some people assumed she was a klepto, and some came up with other theories. Not only were people amazed that she stole the plant, but they were also shocked that she picked a plant that was dead. One particular commenter said you see the brown she on saw the plant was not in good shape. She takes it with her to pamper it. And when it's all right again, she brings it back. <laughs> That's not Although how it that sounds cute, it doesn't make it right. Once it's not yours, it's not yours. Doesn't matter what your intentions are. In fact, from her behavior, it's clear that she's aware she's doing something wrong. She adjusts and readjusts her masks, probably as a disguise, before grabbing the plant and riding away. People also said that she could have picked the palm plant instead of going for the dead one. Is she in like a garden? The palm like, was more expensive. She? Anyway, everyone hoped the locals would recognize her and she'd get caught. She never got Beer caught. Beer failed. If you're going to steal drinks, we think it's appropriate that you wear a belt. That keeps your pants secured for the robbery. Ah, oh, his panties are about to be exposed. everything else goes wrong, at least your pants will stay on. The man in the video walks into an easy food store in Lake Wales, Florida to steal a pack of beer. In the video, we can see the culprit racing towards <laughs> his getaway car with a pack of beer in his arms. He's almost in the car. No and way. His baggy pants jolt loose and the jeans tumble down around his waist. Look at that person, oh, bro. So embarrassing. I can see his fucking crack. He crashes everything. into the pavement and the beer flies all over the place. Bottles roll on the ground, spraying froth over him. Good thing here is that he stands up very quickly. He abandons the beer, yanks up his jeans, and races into the back seat of the black Chevy. His accomplices must have given they him the a license yank plate? on the head like, bro, you had a very simple job to do. If they get the license plate, Easy attendants over. tried to catch them, but then they gave up because they didn't think it was worth it. You can see this in the video. The two attendants just casually walked into the camera's view and watched as the thieves made their strange getaway. Clumsy it's kind of funny, fucking. actually. Would the guy ever forgive himself for messing up the job and denying himself and his friends their much-anticipated pack of beer? The Clumsy. worst of the worst. Okay, maybe this is the most chaotic robbery video and the most humorous. It's kind of like a competition now. The next video was always funnier than the last. This is indeed the worst of the worst. It's the worst because he got caught. He actually got caught in the most embarrassing way possible. This store doesn't need anyone identifying nobody because they caught the culprit red-handed. We really don't know what this guy was thinking when he attempted to steal this laptop. He picks it up from the table and starts to run. But the mouse is a wired one and it's connected to the laptop. We think that's what spoiled everything. So they the man alerted falls the to the ground and so does the laptop. An attendant comes from somewhere we can see and pounces on him. Now that's some action movie move. We applaud for wow. successfully pinning him to the floor while the other attendant slides in and starts to call security. After a catch like this one, the two ladies deserve a raise from their boss. She's strong, some people dude. just let the thieves go, like the attendants in the last video. But these women caught their thief like a fisherman making a big catch. We could watch this video a million times and not get tired. It's just amazing. That's funny It'll be shit. even more lovely if someone would shout, busted at the end. We should also talk about our suspicions that the floor is slippery because it seems like everyone who appeared Look in the video slipped at some point. Put him point. on the ground, bro. Do you see it too? Shop isn't empty. So there was this guy who tried to steal a really expensive bike from a bike shop in London. He thought the shop was empty, so he snuck in and looked around for a good bike to steal. The play was like right a outside really the nice door. mountain bike it? that was worth thousands of pounds and thought it was the perfect target. But unfortunately for him, he was a bit of a bungler oh, and wasn't able to get the bike the out of the shop fast enough before a mechanic who was working in the shop spotted him. <laughs> he took it right The back. mechanic, Billy Dye, was actually watching the thief on CCTV and saw everything that was happening. He took the bike the right back. The didn't realize that Billy was there, hiding behind a wall. When the thief tried to run out of the shop with the bike, Billy quickly ran after him and was able to catch him before he got too far. The thief dropped the bike and ran out of the shop leaving it behind. <laughs> Billy <laughs> said that the bike the thief tried to steal was actually missing its pedals and had flat tires, 
so the thief wouldn't have been able to get very far even if he managed to steal it. <laughs> a lot funny. of people have been joking that it would have been funny if the thief's own bike had been stolen while he was trying to steal someone else's. After the incident, Adam Garrett, the owner of the store, decided to upload the video of the thief and the mechanic who stopped him to social media. I just know he was he laughing, praised bro. the mechanic, Billy, and even compared him to the famous Olympic sprinter Usain Bolt. It was clear that Adam was really impressed by Billy's quick reflexes and ability to catch the thief before he got away with the bike. His nose laughing. Adam also mentioned that, since the incident, they had improved their security at the shop. They don't want to take any chances with thieves like this one who might come back again. By sharing the video on social media, Adam hopes that other people in the area will be aware of this thief and be more careful with their own bikes. They Never steal nah, something bigger than anything. you. We thought it was ridiculous to steal a plant. Now there's something stealing a gate. This video got people talking. According to reports, the incident happened in a quiet neighborhood in the early hours of the morning. It's like rainy a CCTV tea. camera captured the footage of a man who walked up to a house and proceeded to remove the gate from its hinges. Of all things, he didn't a gate? get the memo that says, never steal something that's bigger than you. He carried the gate carefully till he was out of the camera sight. If you look closely, you'll see dogs and someone in the house whose gate has been removed. So they're going to the chase him down? probably barking, and that's what alerted the house owners to wake up. Imagine waking up to discover your gate missing. Isn't the point of the gate to provide security? It's ironic that it could easily be stolen. Netizens debated why the thief stole the gate, and the most reasonable argument was that he stole it for a scrap metal value. Quite random, and to steal a gate, that requires some level of bravery. You could easily get caught. It's not a TV you can hide under your skirt or in your car. Why a gate, It's though? a gate. Anyone who spots you with a gate I mean, at midnight sense, is gonna get still. suspicious. Well, this guy pulled it off and showed us that the security gate wasn't so secure. Porch Pirate Struggles If you want to go on a robbery, plan for it carefully and try to follow the plan through. If you're stealing something big, get enough manpower and the right vehicle to move it with. Don't be like this guy. He could have easily been caught. He wasted about five minutes trying to get the TV to fit in the car. Anything could have happened in the space of five minutes. In case you're wondering what porch piracy is, it's when thieves steal packages and other items that are delivered to your doorstep. This type of theft has become increasingly common in recent years, and it's not only a financial loss, but also an invasion of privacy. So in Maryland, there was a guy who tried to steal a big TV from someone's porch. The whole big thing was caught TV. on camera, and trust us, it was not a smooth operation. The thief can be seen grabbing the box with both hands and running across the front yard, but then he trips and falls on top of the TV. So he probably what broke the glass. Clutch. He finally gets up and or tries to jam the box into the back of his car, but it doesn't fit. The TV is hanging halfway in and halfway out of the vehicle. Finally, his they partner don't plan in crime shit, steps dude. on the gas and they make a quick getaway, but not before driving the wrong way in reverse. The woman who ordered the TV said she was not amused by the thief's antics. She'd ordered the 65-inch 4K television from Walmart, but when it didn't arrive, she called the company to inquire about its whereabouts. It turned out that the TV had been delivered, but someone else had taken it. Diggs received a replacement TV from Walmart, and she had some choice words for the thief, calling him an idiot and hoping that he broke the TV into a thousand pieces by the time he got to his destination. <laughs> this guy clearly didn't think things through, and now he's on camera for the whole world to see. They found your Fiat ass. Gang. Uh, hey, have you heard about the crazy car theft that went down in Italy in 2020? All cars are trying Apparently, to steal that shit. a group of thieves in Crispano the decided to too. get creative and super quick when stealing a parked Fiat 500. In less than 30 seconds, two guys managed to bend the door of the car and jump inside. But that's not all. They also had an accomplice in a nearby vehicle who came to push the car onto the road to make a speedy getaway. So Talk they're like pushing it? crime. It's pretty wild to think about how fast and coordinated these thieves were. Who knew stealing a car could be so efficient? But at the same time, it's also pretty concerning to see how easy it was for them to pull off this heist. It's kind of obvious they've been doing this for a while. In 2016, three people got caught for stealing over a hundred of these vehicles from a car sharing company in Rome. These guys may have been affiliated with them. We can't imagine how the owner of that car, 
felt when they saw their vehicle was gone. And damaged. It's gotta be such a violation to have something like that happen to you. And on top of that, we're sure they had to deal with the hassle of filing a police report and dealing with insurance. All in all, it's a crazy story that just goes to show that you never know what kind of wild stuff is happening out there in the world. And it's a reminder to always be vigilant and protect your belongings as best you can. See, that's why you Trying put your cars in like closed garages, bro. Did he if you think have he had superpowers? This is a hilarious video of a guy from Russia who thought it would be a good idea to steal an entire cone of diner kebab meat. I mean, shit, well, that was good. Let's but... tell you, it didn't go so well for him. You can see the man approaching the kebab vendor and then quickly grabbing the cone it's of hot, meat and right? trying to make a run for it. But here's the catch. He didn't realize just how hot the meat was. <laughs> Dumbass. And it was sizzling. As soon as he grabbed the cone of meat, he immediately regretted his decision. First degree burn right there. frantically trying to hold on to the or cone, third degree, I don't even but the heat now. was just too much. And just like that, he dropped the meat and probably tried to hold himself from screaming. It's actually quite funny to watch, but at the same time, it's a good reminder that stealing is never a good idea. Not only is it illegal, but it can also lead to some painful consequences, like burning your hand on hot kebab meat. Someone said that's how you get caught red-handed. Another person said he gave up too easily. We believe he should have gone prepared. How could you possibly lift it up with your bare hands? One commenter suggested he should have taken a big piece of meat, hidden somewhere to eat it, and then repeated the process over again. <laughs> well, that sounds even more ridiculous than trying to pick it up. My boy, you should it be ashamed. It certainly wasn't this guy's lucky day. Not, Not the, the smartest. smartest. It's so heartbreaking to watch all these iPads and Apple products get destroyed by these crazy and not so smart thieves. In this video, a BMW smashes through the front window of an Apple store in Temecula, California. He just broke the iPads. Insane. Some people are speculating that the driver was in a hurry to get their hands on the new iPhone 5. Oh, yeah, iPhone, iPhone 5. 5. This, this is in old. 2012. Shit. But seriously, was it necessary to risk damaging their fancy car just to steal some Apple products? And to make matter. If only he knew how shit the iPhone was at the time. There's worse. They didn't even think about the, the security five, cameras. Nah, it was shit. We don't know about you, but we Very don't think zero. it's worth it to get in trouble with the law over some gadgets. The footage of the incident was released on YouTube, and it's both impressive and tragic. It's impressive to see how the robbers quickly grab the smaller items, but it's tragic to see the mess they left behind. Look at the poor table leg. It's heartbreaking to think of all the design hours that went into creating such a beautiful piece of furniture. Major. It's kind of funny how things turned out in the end. The gates at the Apple store trapped the robbers and messed up their cars and license plate. The police caught a guy who left the car and came back later, either to fix the flat tires or get the license plate that he had left behind. In court, he said he wasn't guilty. It's just a coincidence that this happened on the same day that the new iPhone 5 was announced. It's a weird story, but it proves that doing bad things doesn't bring good results. It's important for all of us to remember to think carefully before doing something silly because the consequences can be really serious. Major oof. All that for a Pepsi? How bad have you ever wanted a bottle of soda? Check Every this day, out. Bro. This is a crazy surveillance video of a convenience store robbery gone wrong in Mulberry. It's been all over the internet, especially after the Polk County Sheriff's Office added their own soundtrack to it. Make Why steal a Pepsi, bro, when you can steal a Coke? I don't even drink soda anymore. You get 10 times funnier. Here's what went down. This guy named Gabriel Tillman, who's 49 years old, walked into the store and tried to be slick by taking a bottle of Pepsi without paying for it. But the store clerk wasn't having any of that nonsense and remotely locked the door, trapping Tillman inside. And that's when things went haywire. Tillman started trying to break the door down, but he didn't get very far. The clerk was still watching him through the security cameras and had already called the police. So the clerk said, oh no, this guy's not gonna mess up my place and decided to unlock the door. And guess <laughs> what? The guy just strolled out of there with the soda in his hand like it was no big deal. The whole scene is wild. Hey, let him Tillman have the soda. is seriously determined to take just that soda. Pepsi home like it's his life's mission or something. But in the end, he gets busted and arrested for stealing and criminal mischief. Wow. It's understandable to want a soda, but was it worth it getting in trouble for? The video is a definitely entertaining, sense, but it's also a reminder that 
think before we act. Otherwise, we might end up making some not so smart decisions and facing the consequences. Well, guys, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, those people that were crawling on that floor in that restaurant like it was a human centipede, that was funny as shit. If you guys enjoyed the reaction content, you guys more reaction videos like this in the future, you guys know what to do. Now, see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>